Hello and welcome back. For more information on this Pop! OS, please check out System76.com, a USA-based company featuring a fine selection of Linux-based computer systems. All right, real brief before we get started here. Uh, some of you have asked for a regular schedule when I do these videos or live shows. So if you are still interested in that, let me know. Since I am locked out at home, I'm thinking about, at least for now, I'm thinking about doing a daily podcast about 30 minutes or so, like maybe Monday through Thursday or something like that. If you are interested, let me know. Maybe we'll set something up through uh, Jitsi or Discord or something like that. So let me know about that. All right. Pop OS. Well, the first thing I did, I had to install a simple screen recorder, as you see here. This is not, it does not come installed by default. The second thing I did, I had to, uh, actually, no, this was the first thing I did. I had to adjust my screen resolution. All I had to do was turn on fractional scaling, and it automatically adjusted it. So, thank you, System76. That was quite easy. All right, so let's go ahead and get through the system now real brief. And I am running this off a live USB stick. I've had very, very good luck with Ubuntu systems lately testing. So let's do it again. Let's go ahead and minimize all this. Just right click. So this is the default desktop here. This is a plain looking wallpaper. It's not for me. It's okay, but um, let's try looking, find something snazzy as I drink my tea. Yeah, let's go with that one. That looks nice. I like that one. Let's stick with that one. You do have a panel here at the at the top. You cannot customize this panel as is unless you unless you install the GNOME tweak tool. If you wanted to mess with Pop OS and you are a newbie or anything based on GNOME, you really need the GNOME tweak tool. We have some shortcuts here on the right. Now this is a bit misleading because if I click the power shortcut it's all one shortcut as you see here at the bottom and this is kind of a little bit confusing for beginners I personally ne never liked it uh, it's okay once you get used to it so for example click anywhere here and I have my microphone level output wired connections power on or off it might as well go to settings since we are already here now this setup is quite nice network Bluetooth a whole slew of settings here that I will not uh, go into this will take uh, all day search applications chromium web browser I also installed contacts disks disks disk usage analyzer disks document scanner document viewer some extensions they have installed they've customized uh, this pop OS Firefox notifications can be turned on or off fonts I think you get the picture here and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, about as simple as it gets. Uh, the Pop Shop, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Great name. The System Monitor. Let's go ahead and look at the System Monitor and see what the usage is for this. Now, GNOME is generally heavy usage or heavy RAM, uh, heavy on the resources. And this is using a whopping 3.1 gigs. Wowza. But I have to tell you, it doesn't feel like it's using that many that much amount of RAM this and I've tested this on two machines this feels faster in fact it is faster than my Ubuntu GNOME now maybe because this is more of a customized uh, minimalistic I guess type of Linux OS but this does not it it feels like it's using maybe one gig of RAM to be quite honest but let's move on all right so we took a look at the right clicking not really much here let's go to um, let's click the super key and we can go through each open window here I have some uh, workspaces here to the right we can get out of that super key again and again favorites here to the left why don't we why don't we take a look at the pop shop this may take a minute or so to pop up wow that was fast that was really fast I was not expecting it to be that fast so this you can go from home um, there are some updates notification thank you home uh, installed let's go back to home you can search here so if I wanted old oh, VLC and it's here at the bottom 
Now this, you have the option of usually installing, I believe, either the debt package or a flat pack. Now for VLC, it looks like it's only the flat, uh, flat pack. However, I'm running this off a of USB, so I have a feeling that once you install this to run all the updates, this should give you a drop-down menu for the debt package or the flat pack. Personally, I use what works. I use normally snaps when I have to. I search for the debt package first in the Ubuntu repository. If it's not there or if I install it and there's a bug in it, I'll go to my snap package. I use what works. Strictly a personal preference. To me, it does not matter. But this um, this actually looks uh, pretty nice. I think this is a great uh, tool uh, for beginners. Let's, let's go back to that. Um, yeah, I like the use of colors um, and fonts here. Audio. So overall... Uh, yeah, this looks fine. I think I think newbies will have no problem navigating uh, through this. So let's go ahead and um, looks like it froze up here for a second. Hopefully this will unfreeze again. I'm running this off a USB stick. There we go. Let's minimize. Um, ah, there we go. Okay. Let's take a look and see what all is installed real quick. Again, this is very minimalistic, and again, maybe that's why it's running faster. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, system directory, startup applications, uh, not too much going on there. And XGNOME utilities, oh, extensions here, a few, not too many. Let's go back, and that's it. There really isn't much here. Uh, you know, but again, this may be a reason why this runs faster. It does run faster than standard uh, GNOME in my Ubuntu uh, machine. The file manager looks like they have the dark theme installed, turned on by default. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Again, this is all standard fare here. Yeah, this one's great. You may want to take a look at this. Uh, I may install this as a full install to investigate further once this is finalized it is currently a beta a beta as of this recording that will this should be finalized sometime this week i believe or next week i believe it's this week so take a look at uh pop os this is really really nice looking so and it's faster in my opinion so take a look at pop os i will have a link for this uh below in the show notes all right, so that's all I have for uh, this one. I think I'll leave this the way it is. This will be one of those what you see is what you get unedited. I'm testing it the way you would test it. So check it out. Let me know which, uh, what you think about this in the comments below. On that note, I shall say stay safe and arrivederci.